Yeah, you got your first flight lesson today, huh? Yeah. The two pilots right here. Son got his first flight lesson. What's the three primary flight controls on the airplane? The three primary flight controls. Rudder. Yep. Elevator. Yep. yep. Altitude. Aileron. And aileron, yep. Altitude is going to be your gauges, big lady. You see that big plane just took off? From Orlando, man. Sound, sound like like the big planes. It sound like it's close, but it's actually far away. Like how loud the engines is. Yeah. Hey, did you say your three primary flight controls? Yeah. Aileron, elevator, and rudder. Yeah. Okay. What's uh three gauges uh, in the cockpit that you want to look at? Airspeed, altitude, and attitude. Yep, airspeed, altitude, and attitude. You are exactly correct. All right, son. Name the six airspaces. So, first we have so Charlie, yep. Delta, yep. Bravo, yep. Golf, yep. Echo, yep. Alpha. Yep. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Golf. What you on it, son. What about, you doing good. What about far, far now? Huh? What about far now? Far now? Yeah. Far now? Yeah. Nah, it ain't no far now. What's the uh, three training airplanes? Um, the Cessna, yep. Piper, Yep, Cessna, Cessna Piper, Piper, Piper and Diamond, the three most common trainers for student pilots. Get you, get you something else. All right, what's the rotation speed for Diamond? Fifty nine. Fifty nine knots. All right, good job, man. You doing good, my guy. You doing good. You say what? What light? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that is, Flash. Back there. Here's the flight school right here, man. Oh. Brandon meets Brandon. Yeah, Brandon gonna be our, our pilot. Our CFI. So that means you gonna be... Too. Nah, I'm letting you sit in the front. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let you sit in the front. You ready? Ooh. All right. <laughs> yeah, number seven. And then go to Lake, Lake Underhill. And then remember the lake when you're taking off from runway seven, Lake Barton. Yep. Yeah, sir, you're gonna be ready for your first flight lesson today. It's gonna be so awesome. Yeah, sir. The aviators. I like that right there, too. Yeah. That gray one. I think that's the uh, SR22. What's up? Um, so I told you um, that blue airplane, it was hard to ride. Mm hmm. Because it was blue and it was all dusty. On what? GTA or the flight simulator game? Um, the, um, GTA. On GTA? Yeah. Another yeah, another cyber truck with a Bentley, a Bentley drop top right next to it. With the PJ over there. Yeah, sir, guys. First flight lesson. It's about to be awesome. That golf cart over here? Yeah, uh, by your house. Like James be driving around? Yeah. Something like it. It's almost probably about the same like James got. Mm. Mm. 
Brandon's gonna be teaching. I like how the canopy's open. Yeah, the canopy is. Uh, That's pretty awesome. Absolutely. Man, we've been flying this on Flight Simulator. Oh yeah. Yeah. You guys try that? Yeah, Flight Sim. You got that G1000 in there, son. Yes, sir. G1000. Yep. Just making sure all the electrical stuff working. All right, son. Go follow him. Follow him around. He gonna tell you what he's doing. So the first thing, we were just looking at all the lights. Yep. You got them all on? All the lights are on. Son, come look at, look at your lights. He's going to turn the power on. Okay. He taking everything off. The P tot tube right there. The P tot tube, yeah. Yep. So that's airspeed information. This one was for the stall information. Okay. All this stuff. Get up All there, son. You just follow them around. Supply is in there. So All we'll right. kind of do a walk around just while we uh, yeah. untie the plane and everything. Yep. So right now he's. Unlike your Cessnas. Um, and similar to the SR-22 is a composite aircraft. Okay. So it's made generally of uh, glass fiber, reinforced Black. plastic, and a mix of carbon fiber, reinforced plastic. Okay. Uh, these ailerons Checking are ailerons. Um, completely connected via push rods. Okay. That makes it much more responsive during flight. Right. Uh, our flaps are electrically actuated, just like our Cessna 172s. Okay. Uh, we actually have two different types of flaps on board, the outer part and the inner board. Right. Um, moving along, uh, all the way back here, generally I like to check for the antennas. We have two GPS antennas, they're wasp equipped. Okay. Uh, COM1, COM2, we have a transponder up there. Okay. Um, generally you'll see additional antennas on the other aircrafts, but ours is inside the airframe itself. Okay. So you have your emergency locator inside. And your ELT. The leading edge of the uh, elevator or the leading edge of the horizontal stabilizer. Correct. Flies your navigation antennas. Um, your rudder. Throughout the back, we have a T tail. T tail. So you really haven't seen this too much, but the T tail uh, comes with a couple of advantages. The reason why most planes don't have it is the cost to cost to build one as it. A little bit more. It requires a couple more parts. How much are the planes? How much do they usually cost? How much are the planes? Yeah, the from, rest of the planes? Well, to, 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 I mean, just the cost if you was to buy one. To buy a plane, it really depends. If you're going to buy a new one, probably around uh, half a million to a million. Yeah, to, yeah. About 500 to a million. Yeah, that's yep. probably what's going to run you to buy uh, one of these. Right. We do have a lease back program with these uh, aircraft. Uh, so that means, you know, if you decide to buy one of these yeah uh, we can lease it back uh, to you guys any uh anything that we charge for rental fees, right you guys you know get it back and at the end of the day it just makes owning one of these much easier much cheaper that's awesome uh towards the front the entire time we were looking at all of the surfaces to make sure that everything's you know, no smooth cracks, no cracks like right we have a propeller this propeller is made of wood all right. It's a wooden propeller, which makes it a lot lighter. All right. Um, and as far as... So this got the three blades. I know the Cessna got two blades, yes. right? Okay. So three blades. Three blades are definitely a lot better, for, especially for climb performance. Most definitely. Um, and just like everything, when it gets more complex, it gets a little more expensive to build. Uh, this engine is... 167 horsepower at 100 percent power it burns jet a jet a fuel. okay yes sir jet a fuel no av gas in here no huh? av gas. <laughs> exactly so it's uh that's pretty cool yeah absolutely got some jet burning. so is it is li burn. liquid or air cool it's liquid cool liquid cool yes. okay so we have a liquid cooling system the radiator is actually sitting down here. right it's not normally aspirated. Most of your uh, 172s. Yeah, they're normally, normally aspirated. It's got some turbochargers in it. Okay. Uh, to control this aircraft, it's through a FADEC system. So okay. you just set a power percentage and the airplane flies it for you. Do you need a, a, a high performance well, for this? It's all about the horsepower, right? Yeah, two, 200 and over, right? 
This engine's 167. 67, got gotcha. you. Yes, sir. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Uh, other than that, the... Got the chocks, taking the chocks out. The chocks are out, tie downs are out. All right. Pretty much ready to get rocking and roll. All, All I'm right. going to do is just give uh, the fuel quick taxi. Okay. Here, come over here a bit, lad. We have an auxiliary tank where we can score an additional 25 gallons, or not 25, 20 and a half. So this is your jet fuel. It's very clear. If there was any liquid, it would be on the bottom. So we're good right there. Southwest. Southwest, yeah, Southwest plane just took off. Here's your second sample. So both of the tanks look pretty good right now. We're looking good. Yep. And we're gonna take one last sample down here. This is your gas collator, which is short for gas collector. Uh, this is the lowest part of the entire fuel system, right before it goes into the engine. All right. So that's designed to actually catch anything. So that's normal to see stuff in it. We don't see anything today. Looks clear, don't it, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right. So all that goes back into the Dump tank. it right back into the tank. Go ahead and get you guys set up inside. All right. Okay, perfect, good? perfect. So right. you want to get him set up? Well, I want you in the uh, back right so you can see him flying. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah good, gotcha. So, we'll so you want to get me in first? Yes, All sir. right, perfect. We're there. Right. Pull that red tab if you are going to. It's going to release the hinges. The entire door is just going to fly out open. Awesome. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close this up and All then right. get him in the front seat. What's up, big legend? We in the diamond. Yeah. We got pilot right, landing coming in. Oh, yeah. Grab right there. Perfect. We got pilot landing coming in. All right. Yep. Just step all the way inside. The PIC. Between your legs. Sit down right there. And get you sit, put the seatbelt up. Now you, you're flying the plane, so it's important for you to have your seatbelt, especially. All right, this is good. You feel snug? All right. You say what? Let's go ahead and get some headsets huh? plugged in. You want fruit roll up? What's up, son? Yeah, the PIC made it. 